Throughout the 1990s, the trend was how much forms of movement manufacturers could put into a ride. Many rides were on two, three or even four axis of movement, like the Shake style rides and the Move It 32. During the mid-1990s the Italian company Top Fun, developed the Spinball, which they later called Megamix. Top Fun in their advertising they described this as. And now for something completely different, Top Fun introduces Spinball. Imagine, the base spinning one direction and the car platform being spun in the opposite direction, all while being lifted and flipped upside down. With three simultaneous spinning actions, and a variety of individually controlled movements, no two rides are the same. The Megamix had a high capacity of 34 riders a time, which Top Fun claimed the Megamix could do up to 700 riders an hour. The ride was also very compact, only needing 39 feet frontage, or 46 feet with paybox, by 32 feet deep, with a total operating height of 27 feet. Two examples would find their way to the British Isles, with one going to England, and one going to Scotland. The first to arrive was Perrin Prince Megamix. He acquired the ride from a Belgium showman in November 2003, and it would make its premiere at the season opener, the King's Lynn Mart on Saturday 14th of February 2004. The ride originally had a three-panel high backflash, but this was quickly reduced to two panels to make it easier and quicker to travel. Following King's Lynn Mart, the Megamix would then continue the early season run in the eastern counties, opening at Wisbeach Mart and Peterborough Mart. Later in the year the Megamix would open at some of the largest fairs in the country, including Cambridge Midsummer Fair and Nottingham Goose Fair, where it opened twice on the top row in 2004 and 2005. Also in 2005 the Megamix would open in Dublin for St. Patrick's Day as part of the early season run. The Megamix, ultimately didn't prove a successful ride for Perrin Print, who sold the ride at the end of 2005 season to a Polish showman. A few years later Harrison Miller in Scotland was looking for a new ride to tour, it had to be quick and easy to move in high capacity. The ride Harrison Miller decided to buy was a top fun Megamix. At the time an Australian showman was selling his Megamix, and Harrison Miller bought the ride, after being shipped over for the summer of 2009, Harrison Miller wasted no time in getting the Megamix open, with its first fair being the Sea Queen Festival in Saltcoats, in mid-July 2009. While the Megamix would open at some of Scotland's biggest fairs, including Kirkcaldy Links Market, St Andrew's Lamas, and Irvin Merrymass, Harrison Miller was not afraid to open his Megamix at one-day places such as Mayfield Garla, or take the machine right up north to a Boyne Highland Games and Rathlin Market. Harrison Miller also opened the Megamix at some fairs in England, including Pinkston in Derbyshire, Worksop in Nottinghamshire and the Big Bonfire Fair at Milton Keynes. After three seasons of traveling as Megamix, Harrison Miller decided to sell his machine to Indonesia following the 2011 season. While only around half a dozen of the original spinball design of the Megamix would be sold, rides and fun, as top fun are now known continue to sell the spinball as Megamix. In more recent years the Megamix was modernized with new seating arrangements giving riders more leg space. By 2020 the Megamix has three capacity models on offer with eight seats, 16 seats and the original 34 seat capacity. The Megamix has also been adapted for indoor fun centers. Of the original version of the Megamix rides these can still be found traveling in France, Poland, and Italy. The Fun Fair Rides video channel features hundreds of fairground videos from the past 20 years. You can subscribe for free, and get new videos as they are released. Thank you, for watching this Fun Fair Rides video.